Hi there, this is Ranjit and I have this uh, Moto X with me and in this uh, video we'll be doing uh, the gaming review for this Moto X and we'll start with some casual games and then move to some heavy games. Uh, let's start with the Subway Surfer and this uh, Moto X sports a 4.7 inch uh, Super AMOLED screen and it's powered by a 1.7 GHz dual core great processor. It has a 4 core Adreno uh, 320 GPU. Uh, it has 2 gigs of RAM and also it has two special processors uh, for that touchless and that active display i've already made a video about that touchless and the active display that makes this phone very special and again the screen quality that uh, motorola has used is actually very good look at the viewing angles i'm tilting it extremely uh, they are very good Another thing is the speaker on this uh, Moto X is actually pretty good. It's loud and clear. So as you can see, it's playing this Subway Surfer without any issues. No lagginess or anything like that. So let's uh, move out of this Subway Surfer. And let's move to uh, some heavy games now. So let me just get out of this one and let me just swipe it away and let's try this uh, Reptide GP2 now. So this is Reptide GP2 and we just tilt the phone to steer along. Again I have to say the screen quality is actually very good. Though it's a super AMOLED screen, uh, uh, the colors, everything looks actually very good. Oops. Also, as I told you, the speaker is actually pretty loud and clear at the same time. So, as you can see, there is no lagginess or anything like that on this uh, Reptile GT2. Try the boost. So it's running this uh, Reptile GP2 actually very well. So let's get out of this one and move to uh, further heavy games now. Let me just get out of this one. And now uh, we'll try this uh, Real Racing 3. I was not going to include this one, but quite a few of you have asked me to include it. So let's try Real Racing 3 now. So this is Real Racing 3. And if you see those lines on the screen, don't worry. It's not the issue with the phone. It's just my camera. Uh, it's acting a little bit funny. And this is Real Racing 3. Actually, you can download this game for free from the Android Play Store. And let me change the camera angles. And as you can see, see this uh, rear view mirror. Uh, we are able to see what's at the back. That means all the graphics are getting rendered as expected. And again, it's uh, pretty smooth. Let me change the camera angles again. And let's go back. I saw a little bit of stuttering there.
So as you can see, it's running it actually well, uh, but uh, we did notice one stuttering uh, earlier. But apart from that, it looks like it's playing it very well. This is another camera angle. So this is Real Racing 3. Uh, let's try one more game now. Let's swipe that away. And let's try uh, even this uh, Asphalt 8, which is again a very popular game. And before we proceed, let me show you the graphics settings. Uh, let's go here. And by default, it was actually set to medium graphics settings, but now I have set it to high graphics settings. So we are using the high graphics settings and the controls I'm using the uh, touch controls. So let's play a few levels on this asphalt tape now. And we'll start with this Nevada level and we'll play one more level later on. Again, uh, do note that it's at high graphic settings, the max. Oops, it cornered me. Doing the drifts. like it's playing this one also fine So it's playing this uh, asphalt 8 well, actually this level very well. So let me just uh, move to one more level now and let's see how it handles it. And now let's try this uh, Iceland level. it's playing it actually very well I do notice a minor uh, uh, lag there. I'm trying all sorts of crazy things. But overall I would say it's playing it very well and you'll have a good experience playing this uh, Asphalt 8 on this uh, Moto X. So 
let's uh, get out of this asphalt tape. It's playing it actually pretty well. As you can see. And let's move to uh, one more game. I actually also tried this uh, Modern Combat 4. And it could play that one also very well. Uh, but we'll also try this uh, Nova 3 now. And let's see how it runs. So this is Nova 3. Actually, uh, the speaker is actually very loud and clear on this uh, Moto X. So it's playing it actually pretty well, I would say. Uh, let's move to the next level on this Nova 3. So as you can see, it's actually playing this one also pretty well. So you will have a decent experience uh, playing this uh, Nova 3 also on this uh, Modo X. So that's it for this uh, Nova 3 gaming also. Let, let's get out of this one also now. So what do I feel about the gaming uh, performance on this uh, Moto X? Uh, now we have been gaming for around 15 to uh, sorry 25 to 30 minutes. Uh, I was also gaming uh, even uh, before shooting this video. Uh, the good thing is that uh, the phone uh, just got barely warm. Uh, it's not very hot like some of the other high-end uh, Android phones that become very hot after in, uh, gaming for 15-20 minutes. So that's a good thing. but. Uh, the thing is that uh, it could play uh, casual games uh, without any issues and even most of the high-end games as you have seen it could play them well but uh, I did notice a little bit of stuttering uh, once in Real Racing 3 and also in uh, Asphalt 8 uh, but if you aren't bothered about that minor stuttering that you might encounter here and there uh, this phone is even good for gaming uh, but if you are a hardcore gamer i would suggest the nexus 5 over the moto x just cause it has a better gpu that's the adreno 330 i'll also be doing a full in-depth uh, review for this moto x very soon so if you aren't subscribed to my youtube channel subscribe to the same I've also made two other videos on this uh, Moto X regarding the special features like touchless controls and that active display. Links for those videos will be in the YouTube show notes. So that's it for now for the gaming review of this Moto X. Uh, thank you. This is Ranjit and I hope to see you in my next video.